Eh, hey, yop. Ah, désolé. Ouf. Bon, on va continuer cette aventure. Oups, là, je vais faire une nouvelle partie, ça va être ballot. Oups, de perte d'FPS, qu'est-ce qui se passe Bon, j'ai été où Ah oui, elle était là. Avec ma super arme, euh, avec un silencieux de ouf, là. Euh... Ok? Você não está fazendo nada, estou fazendo tudo sozinho. Como é que eu não estou pegando nada, rapaz? Estou trabalhando aqui, ficando de olho e ou, escutando você reclamar. Ó, 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 ó. Olha o quê? Para com essa viadagem, para de reclamar, de saco cheio. Porra, põe as coisas aqui em cima. Ah! Permissão! Oh, c'est bon. J'ai le temps de la ramasser Ouais. C'est chaud. Hein. Oh, un lance grenade. Ah, on vous dorme ici. Je crois que c'était en face. Il était là. Il est pas là. Oh l'enfant, je l'ai pas vu.
Oui, ouais, sans bord. J'ai des bugs d'affichage quand même sur le jeu. En fait, euh, là je vois le meuble, et quand je suis arrivé, je ne voyais pas le meuble. Trop bizarre. Pas de pilule. Il ouais, faut descendre. Il me fait mal. Passos's ID card. It was no great surprise he'd made their hit list, but to discover he was really Colombian? No wonder some locals seemed to laugh at his accent. What else had he lied to me about? De Silva and I had the same fan club. I knew enough and he knew too much. We'd both become targets. Ah merde, ah, j'ai pris trop de dégâts juste avant. Oh, okay. evidence for De Silva. I need to find a way upstairs. Surely nobody would notice another hole in the wall. I knew this thing was bigger than me, bigger than the Broncos, but I only had a glimpse of the whole picture. Like looking in a mirror and for an instant seeing what everyone else sees, a bad caricature of a better man. Oh, I'm going to get was getting dirtier by the minute. Those bastards were clearly in bed with the crash of Prado. Now we just had to find out why. 
Starting with a bit of bedtime reading for Mr. De Silva. When you've lived the kind of life I've lived, reality comes at you through a different lens. But nothing could have prepared me for what was on the other side of that door. I had to get those poor bastards out of there. Get them out of here. Go. Go. Wait. I said get them. Serrano. Serrano. He looked pathetic. A man defeated. I walked away and left him to his own personal nightmare. Whatever hell this was De Silva had sent me into, I knew I had to put an end to it. I had no choice but to push on. I didn't understand everything, and I never would, but I understood enough. Sometimes a complicated problem is best tackled with a simple solution. Ça change bien en chier ici. Je jette une gros quoi. J'ai de la chance. Oh putain. J'aurais pas cru que j'allais prendre des balles comme ça. Mmh. En fait, il y a pas de morceau dans le crème là. On peut y en avoir un là-bas. Dans, mais que dalle. Je vais me refouiller là. Merde, oh. J'ai 
Y'a rien loupé ici, sérieux Bon, oh, ici j'ai ramassé un fragment d'arbre. Hein. Peut-être qu'il n'y en a pas de un autre. Ah ouais, merde, j'ai mal géré. J'ai vraiment mal géré. Oui, j'ai ramassé le fragment d'arme, ça aussi j'ai pas joué pareil. Ah j'ai pris une balle douce hein. D'accord il m'a pas ça. Oh fuck. <coughs> Pardon. Je vais boire un coup de tête. Il en reste deux a priori. Sérieux. Oh l'autre comme il a volé. This was hell on earth. De Silva was no fool. Oh. I'd have driven on off into the sunset too if I were him. But I was in too far now. Une pièce d'arme qui traîne ici. When you find yourself in hell, it looked like Victor had won the sympathy vote, found his universal connection to the people, triumph out of tragedy. Part of me couldn't help thinking that had been his plan all along. Il y a un fragment là. Ah non, merde, c'est un fragment d'arme. There it was, the soundtrack to my life. <laughs> And, for a few seconds, came harmony. Finally. Ah, dès que tu bois plus, ça va bien. <laughs> Euh, 
Pourquoi j'ai marqué F Ouais, je sais pas. J'ai pas de fragment d'orme ici. Trust me, please, please. What have you been doing? I have a lot of money. Look, look, lots of money. I do important research, please. Caralho! Caralho! Espera, espera. Eu posso explicar tudo. Tudinho. For all Serrano owed me, he'd paid enough. For now, I had bigger debts. <coughs> Je sens que ça va être animé par ici. Even I could guess what demolition meant. That building was condemned in more ways than one. J'aime pas un chat et j'aime pas ça. <coughs> ah punaise. <coughs> something I wasn't seeing. Oh, y'a pas de fragment d'arme ici C'est étonnant. They had a fucking arsenal in here. It was time to bring this little hellhole to the ground, so I decided to put some of their C4 to good use. Mm, Max, il va s'énerver, je crois. You can't unsee something, but you can dull the effect. Alors, le poteau rouge, je présume. Dark shit in my time, but this was something else. These vermin had gone into a place where life was cheap and found a way to get rich off it. I just wanted to finish this and get far away from here. But then, true to form, more of the rats came out of their holes. <coughs>
least one of the people who are kind enough to leave the gate open. Ah, sinon je fais tous les potos là. Ah, ouais. Celui-là je l'ai fait. Celui-là je l'ai fait. L'autre là-bas il est fait. Il va peut-être falloir en poser ailleurs. Alors, pas le prix. Pourquoi Ah ouais, d'accord. Il n'y en a plus. Ouais, J'ai coup cher. time I bought had been going real cheap. If I was gonna plant the rest of those explosives, I had to do it now. Trois morceaux du rang 3, 4, c'est fait. Juste un autre C4 à poser et normalement on est bon. <coughs> Je pense qu'elle va plus après. That was the last of the explosives. I just hoped it was enough to bring down the building and all the evil in it. Oh putain, ce quoi cette armée quoi? Who wants to take a shot? You see what this is? Come on, anybody? Want to be a hero? 
I got nothing to lose. Let's do it. Que porra que tá acontecendo aqui? Senhor Neves. What the fuck is your problem, man? <laughs> my problem. My problem. Wanna know what my problem is? You're turning humans into glue. That's what my fucking problem is. I don't know what you're talking about, American. All I know is what I hear about you. You bodyguard for the Brancos. They are all dead. You help the poor. Today, many of them dead. You are a proper American hero. At least I fucking tried. Well done with your effort. The whole city is grateful. The great American savior of the poor. That's right. You think you made any difference? You think stopping this legitimate business venture is helping anyone? Legitimate? You're stealing people's organs! We pay for everything. We have the records. Oh, so people can sell their livers, their hearts, their eyeballs? You're insane, you sick fuck! We kept people safe in the city. Decent people. Safe. I know a lot of powerful people. Well, you're... Powerful people are gonna help you out of this one, buddy. Oh, putain, Max, you're a pétain pour. Il faut fouiller ici parce que une fois passé je pourrais plus fouiller quoi. Oh merde un peu pour rien et personne. J'ai même pas le temps de sauter. Ouais merde. J'ai trop chier de début le passage. J'ai abusé quoi. <coughs> Ah mais...
crève pour le tir communiste Listen now, come with me, Max, to Brazil. Give me a chance to play the fall guy in a plot that my boss and his brother's hatching to profit from the selling of human organs. Yeah, it'll be perfect for you. What are you talking about? I don't know nothing about human organs, man. Victor and Marcelo are trying to teach Rodrigo a lesson. Get him to loosen the purse strings and the family money. They pressured me into doing it. You wanna die? I came back for you. I did my best. I'm having a kid, Max. I gotta go. Fuck you! Sure. Later. Now, let's go. Hope this thing works. T'as eu grand amour entre deux, quoi. I owe... I owe... I owe you everything. No, you don't. I'm sorry I couldn't save your sister. I was there. It wasn't your fault. I was paid to protect her and I didn't. She married into a sick family. Maybe. I... I just wanted to say thank you for giving us a chance to live. I mean... As a family. I hope it all works out for you, for all of you. Thank you. Don't be too long. Well, buddy, that's it. Where are you guys gonna go? Uh, I don't know, maybe back to New York. Uh, maybe down to Argentina. Giovanna has family in Salvador. Maybe we'll just stay there. Me, yeah, I got business to take care of. I, I'm sorry I, I dragged you into this. I, I know... Uh, I, I know it was very wrong. It's all right. It's done. But hey, I'm having myself a fun old time. Maybe this is how things had to be. Figure I might as well die in the sunshine as die in the snow. Look, I'm sorry I'm leaving. I, I got a kid coming. You, you know how it is. I know how that is. You know, I... I almost didn't say goodbye to you. I said to myself, maybe this guy will put a bullet in me. Maybe I will. But not right now. Thank you. Try to look after yourself, Max, huh? Life is worth living. If you say so, pal. Je crois qu'on est au dernier chapitre. I thought I was going to have to witness another murder. Nah. Not him. You ready? I guess. Okay. I've uh, looked through this information you gathered. It's not very nice. What is it? It's the Ufe. The famous Mr. Becker. Friend of Victor Bronco. <laughs> yes, and a contributor to his campaigns. A government employee, of course. And? A weapons dealer, a murderer, this was known. A dealer in human organs, this wasn't known. A proper gentleman. Mm, sure. So you're gonna bring him down? <laughs> yes, because I want to lose my wife and my children and then get killed myself. All that after watching him walk free. Tell me what has to be done. Well, officially, there's uh, nothing I can do. And unofficially? Well, we can always try something a little more creative. Creative? De Silva had promised me a 10 o'clock showcase. I had to make sure I was on stage and ready for my close-up. <laughs> 
<clears throat> we got Becker. Cave in Potterelli. Ah! Hey, olha aqui. Tropa, tropa. Ei, você. Mano, o que é esse cara aí? Manda tua conta, rapaz. Vai, vai. Conta o Deus. Meu conta, eu quero essa cara aí. Desculpa. Ela não diz tudo dela, meu. Ei, o que é essa cara aí? Convidado nosso. Quebra esse otário aí. Deixa comigo, me dá uma lição nele. <risos> então, o pai dela não diz tudo. C'est un peu l'interrogatoire. Ah ouais. Hey, what are you doing here? Huh? I ask you a question. Answer him. Answer him. What are you doing? What? What are you doing here? Que você está fazendo aqui? What are you doing here? I don't understand. I can't hear you. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Me in the ear. Hey, answer me. What are you doing here? Back in the precinct after all this time. Time to find out what the hell was going on. Nothing resembling good times lay beyond that gate, but I was going to have to face the music sooner or later. Il doit y avoir des trucs à ramasser dans le coin. Luckily, I wasn't the only cop with a pill problem. I guess our little stunt helped some other civic-minded people raise valid concerns about community relations. Their faces said it all. I was on their side, but how could they know that? If they came through that door, I'd be leaving as a human shield and never leaving at all. Luckily for me, for once, the police arrived just in time. It sounded like all hell was breaking loose. Whatever nonsense De Silva had pulled, it seemed to be working.
Have a nice day, guys. <clears throat> the last few prisoners were trapped in here, and more presently, seemed I was too. Não foi. Acho que não sei se eu vou ficar aqui, Bici. The security switch had to be in that booth. They had their body armor, I had mine. friend I had left in that town. It was Monday's arrest log, as far as I could tell, and no sign of anybody from Nova Esperanza. All those poor bastards have been checked straight into the Imperial Palace Hotel. had the right idea. There was no point bouncing bullets off that thing. I decided I'd try to pick up where he left off. And then immediately regretted that decision. Well, wasn't this nice? The perfect end to a perfect trip. If someone had told me six months ago this was where my life was headed, I'd have ordered a double of whatever they were drinking, drunk it, then blown my head off. Get this man in! Another 
dark, rainy night. Another police station. Another futile crusade for amends. Time moves forward, and nothing changes. Ah, de montage de vie, c'est bon. Every bastard in the joint must have known I was on the loose by now. I couldn't afford to waste any more time. Ah, j'ai pas vu de carme, c'était euh, parce que je ne ramassais. Figured I'd bag those up for evidence. Police food, the same crap the world over. But I could reminisce about the old days later. For now, there was more pressing matters to deal with. They'd come from the control room. It looked like the security cameras were still running. Special Forces Painkillers. I figured I should check out the security monitors while I had the chance. It looked like the prisoners were giving them a run for their money. That's what happens when you hand some roided up halfwit a commando uniform with special on the front and let him ride around his hometown in a tank playing soldiers. Sooner or later, someone's going to decide he's not so special. There were a bunch more in the elevator, tooled up like they were about to roll into Fallujah. And of course, they were headed my way. Parce que j'ai pris.
О! Ты попробуешь. Rising. That meant I was getting closer to the source. I had to keep moving. I saw the elevator doors were open. Ouais, prenons l'ascenseur. Je vais finir ce chapitre et je garderai le dernier pour la fin. Enfin, pour le prochain épisode. <coughs> J'aurais pas le temps de finir le, le jeu maintenant. Malheureusement. Ah, d'accord, c'est passé énorme. Euh, ça va être par là, alors. Whatever depressing fate lay on the other side of those doors, there was no point in putting it off any longer. Je l'avais pas vu derrière. Regarde sans tirer, <coughs> pas de problème, ça marre. J'ai tué plus de cops que de cholestérol, mais c'est toujours pas de signe de Becker. Ce n'était pas la première fois que ça m'a donné sur moi, je devrais probablement avoir passé le plan en plus de détail, mais c'est trop tard pour ça maintenant. On va faire une pièce après l'autre. AUP. Those were the guys who jumped the yacht in Panama. And what was this? Had the Brazilian cops tipped them off about the money? If I didn't hurry, Becker would be long gone. Pas une pièce d'armes, ça va. Special Sao Paulo's own David and Goliath. I'd pinned De Silva as a coward, but he'd risked more than anyone, and he'd never taken a bribe. I still didn't know how I'd gone from drinking myself numb in New Jersey to looting corpses in Brazil. But this was where I was, 5,000 miles from a home I couldn't go back to on another suicide mission to clean up a mess that wasn't even mine. I'd spent my career dozing off in the briefing room. Now wasn't the time. 
The CS were all but out of business in Sao Paulo, and suddenly Becker and Victor looked like local heroes in the war on crime. They'd really gotten their money's worth outsourcing their problems onto me. My old pal Serrano. We'd both been unwitting clowns in this sorry circus. Part of me hoped he'd made it out of that hotel alive. I didn't recognize the guy. Maybe this was the new slum king Da Silva had talked about. A throne never stays empty for long. Fame at last. It was no great surprise I'd made Ufe's most wanted list. I hadn't done much to improve the reputation of Americans abroad over the past few weeks. And there they were, my illustrious <laughs> employers. Three dead and still, every chance I'd go four for four. None of this was going to look good on the resume. And I was in good company. Howell Passos, sent up north to find a washed up gringo who would act tough and play dumb. Boy, did he ever deliver. Okay. J'ai eu les deux Ah ouais. Du coup j'ai pas eu trop le temps de bien fouiller là. Ah, pas de preuve, rien. It was starting to feel as if I'd never leave that place. Like one of those nightmares where you keep running and running only to discover you're chasing yourself. Nothing I was going to find in there could make a difference now. I had all the evidence I needed. This wasn't good. I needed to find a way out of that stairwell and fast. The bastards had me locked in. That would have been too easy. The doors were all locked. My eyes and throat burned, but at least I could breathe. I was trying to work out what direction I was headed in when I discovered some more Brazilian architecture not designed for the American physique. tape from the Bronco security system. Jesus, it was that guy. I had seen him in the favela, Bachmeyer, Becker's right-hand man. His time would come, him and Becker. Bon. 
fui não, fui não. Passo fragmão da alma. Oh, tá bom. I'd seen enough. It was time to bring this nightmare to an end. Ah oui, y a pas de fragment d'arme. Y a rien à récupérer. Je suis un peu déçu. Y a pas un peu lourd. Je trouve pas ça rassurant, alors pas du tout. That tape out of my head. Why had Ufe killed Rodrigo? I wasn't going to find any answers in the forensics lab. I had to push on. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I know who you are. You should have killed me in the office when you had the chance. There's still time, meu camarada. déconner ça pas qu'il se frotte hein. Max il sait ce qu'à faire Still nothing to show for it. It felt like I was detaching, that maybe this was revenge for something else. 
something buried deep in the past. Il y avait un table arsenal là aussi quoi. Et toujours pas de fragments d'armes. Rodrigo, Giovanna, Passos, everyone who'd meant anything was gone. Like so many times before, I'd found myself alone, locked on a course of destruction. It was at my worst when I was at my best. Oh, I think pas mal ici. Luckily, I wasn't the only cop with a pill problem. d'économie de munitions fini ça euh, on va faire une arme comme ça là, lui. Ouais, c'est pas et pas un morceau. Oh putain. Il y a les quand même bois, ça fait une goûter cher quand même. Becker and Bachmeyer had taken their pound of flesh and sold it on the black market. Now I was coming for mine. I think I'm going to the end of the chapter and I'm not very fresh. Esperando a confirmação do outro grupo, mas o gringo já deve estar morto agora. Senhor, ele não parece estar morto! Da puta, pelo amor de Deus! 
Oh bah t'es Forcément vu comme ça je vais avoir du mal hein. Love to interfere in things you do not understand. Oh, I understand plenty, asshole. How stupid can one man be? Bullets, his cover was too good. There's a thing that should be done by now, right? Oh, wait. Sérieux D'accord. Ah oh, putain je vais les mettre à couvert. Oh. Do you think? 
Il arrive à passer, c'est pas ça, oui, merde. Pas, ça c'est n'importe quoi, je t'ai allongé, enfin je t'ai couvert, je me retrouve debout. Quoi. Je t'ai couvert putain This was the passkey to Becker's office. I was close to the end of all this, and I could feel it. Becker! <laughs> <clears throat> Something funny about dying? I felt like the avenging angel. I looked like a fat, bald dude with a bad temper. You disgusting piece of shit! I know! Everything! Not everything, my friend. Let go of him, Max. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> There's a good fellow. Well, well, well. Victor, I was wondering when you'd reappear out of whatever slimy hole you live in. <laughs> I'd like to just say, Max, I just want to say thank you for all your hard work my family and for cleaning up that horrible mess with the Casha Preto for us. You know I'm tough on crime. I give you a bonus, but I think you just fritter it away. Becker, take his gun. Thomas, you feel the poop. They had barred the door. My only hope was to chase them down. I knew they'd be leaving town, and my guess is they would try to fly out of here. Rich people love to fly away. God damn it! <laughs> Il est en colère, Max. <laughs> Et bon, je vais arrêter là. Et euh, ben, euh, la suite est fin. Prochain épisode. Hein. Okay, Max. Now you check the main terminal. I'm gonna go and look for the Bronco plane by the hangar, okay? Let's do it. <laughs> you keep an eye out in there. You know Becker's gonna have some guys in there watching out for you. Yep. So, of course, I knew they were looking for me. But the airport was about the only place a fat gringo might blend in. Well, there or a sex club. Hey! 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 My delusions of disguise lasted around two seconds. They were out in force. And they were out for me. But then, I was out for them too. Every last one of those bastards. Bon, et bien à la suite euh, bientôt. Allez, bisous, bye bye.